If you believe the only treatment is chemotherapy, you're really behind on what is out there today. There is a tons amount of stuff that is not chemo, that's targeted, that doesn't make you lose your hair, and that is called precision medicine. If you've heard about cancer and treatments, the chances are you think about chemotherapy, poison, being sick, losing hair, getting nauseous and vomiting. There's a reason that that has perpetuated for years, and that's because that was the strategy. It was not precision. It was a shotgun approach. So there's no doubt chemotherapy today does still work. But when we talk about precision medicine, what we mean is, imagine going to a circuit board in your house, right? And you have to figure out, you bought a new house and you have to figure out which you know breaker goes to your bedroom. If they're not labeled, it's very tricky to know which one is where. It's annoying, right? And you go through each one to figure out where the problem is. Well, that's what cancer is, where it's able to grow unregulated, where your body can't just say, hey, you need to blow up, you know? It's, it's escaped that, it's escaped your immune systems ability to blow it up. That's the challenge that precision medicine is tackling. So you don't have to give a generalized poison to basically blow up the whole house. Let's find out which switch is the one for you specifically that's the problem. But here's the issue on top of that. Cancer cells get smart and they say, you know what, forget it. I don't care about that circuit breaker. I'm gonna get my electricity to the rooms I need to run in a totally different way. And suddenly your treatment stops working. Now you have to restart the process to go back down the, the circuit board and say, okay, now what's the new mechanism? And then you have to attack that. And over time, it escapes that as well. How do we stay on top of it? Because a lot of experts say, if we can't cure all cancers, it can potentially become something we live with and die with, but not die from. Why? Because if we can keep finding out that new switch and giving a new therapy that isn't poison, that's precise, then you can keep people alive for years and years and years without the toxicities of the older stuff we used to use that works, but at the same time is precise so it doesn't poison everything and keeps the cancer under control. But one of the most important things is the word data. When we talk about data in cancer, we primarily mean two things. We're talking about the data on the cancer type itself, your specific cancer, because it's not enough to say, oh, well, I have colon cancer. Why do you need the data on my specific tumor? Because of all the switches we talked about and knowing which ones are the ones that got flipped. The other part of data is when we talk about you data, that means what are all of the different enzymes, basically the stuff on how it's gonna affect the treatment. Does it give you 80% of that treatment? Does it give you 10% of that treatment? That's a you thing. Because even if there's another Indian guy who looks a lot like, like me, he may only get 60% of that treatment value from how fast he clears it if I give it to him versus me who might get 90%. Personal data is very important. You need to see how it uses the drug in your body and it varies person to person. The future is gonna be re-biopsying because you're gonna to have to see, okay, this cancer is different. It's changed. It's like it's a cousin to the one we were previously treating. There's a company, x -Cures. They're using artificial intelligence to look at that data on your tumor and see if anybody else in the country or the world is benefiting from a therapy that attacks the same switch that your cancer may have. No doctor individually has the bandwidth to look at every study every single day to see if something is even like relevant or applies to your cancer, but artificial intelligence can. It's time to start using it. And that's why Xcruise offers it for free. Patients can go through X Inform, put in their data, but what that means is the cancer properties and everything, okay, here are all my switches, here are all the colors of the switches, figure it out. And then the artificial intelligence will go through and say, hey, here's all the stuff that works in your tumor that's, that's you know, approved or guidelines. That's the stuff you get from your oncologist. But then it tells you all the other stuff that says this is the stuff that looks like it can be targeted and here are all the studies that right now is being done to make this cancer control better that we wouldn't know about, that oncologists don't know about until it's guideline approved. And on the flip side, for doctors and myself, I use the X Decide, which when I'm at that third or fourth treatment line and all the approved therapies are out, but the patient looks well and of course I love them and their families and I wanna make absolutely sure nothing exists that can give them more life, good quality of life. I go to X Decide and that AI technology takes all the information from that patient's tumor and lets me know if anything else is out there today that potentially has a high chance of being effective in this patient's tumor type. Precision medicine.
That's what we're using when it comes to cancer. And make sure you go access the things that are available. The worst thing that can happen is if we're here with our technology and all the things that we can do, but we're here with actually what patients get. Bridge it. And by doing that, all your friends and family are better off because you're knowledgeable and you can go seek it out. You've made it through this video and I am super stoked. Hopefully you feel a lot more knowledgeable and even somewhat comfortable about the crazy world of cancer. If you did, like, comment, but especially just share, if nothing else, to get this information out so that hopefully people are less intimidated by something that's as scary as cancer would be a big win. And we look forward to seeing you here next time.